yes, this is where I've been <clears throat> for the last couple of days. Woolman Hill in Massachusetts. And there are butterflies, these beautiful orange butterflies in this field. And this path that they mow <clears throat> in between the greens reminds me of England. It's been such a wonderful memory. And there's a fire pit just over there. But here is where I've been staying. In a little cabin with no running water. Electricity they do have. An outhouse which I love, love outhouses. I first discovered it when I was traveling around Central America and South America. This cabin is called Saltbox. And look, this is the little kitchenette. I don't know if you can see inside without the reflection, without me in the reflection. And then here, no, that doesn't work. I'll show you inside. There's a little table which I sat at for breakfast sometimes. There are hiking trails. Oh, it's so magical. I'll put the link below. So look, this is my little, this was my home for the last couple of days. Here's the little kitchenette. There's that portable water that you can refill. And under that curtain is a bin where the water runs into. Look at that. Where am I? There you go. So it's a little disconcerting initially when you just hear this water running right underneath. And then I realized what it was. A hot plate, little kettle, little dorm size fridge, which I crammed with my food. And here I slept. There's the window I just tried to look through. And it's so simple. Ugh. It was so wonderful. We had a massive rainstorm the other day, which was great. So in the winter, they have a, a wood stove. And then up here, are two more beds. <laughs> so it can sleep up to five, because this is a futon. So wood cabin can sleep up to five. Oh, it's been such a wonderful retreat and the people who run it are amazing. So lovely. And, oops, hi. So if you wish a getaway, if you need time to yourself, consider this place. I restrung my rose quartz malas, mala beads, put my energy into it. It's a wonderful heart opener. And um, that's what I'm feeling called to wear right now is rose quartz to support my heart opening. All right, sending you so much love. And um, I hope you take some time for rest over the summer and regeneration. It's the end of June. And as I was walking back after putting the compost in the compost bin, I got a strong sense that, you know, these six months was a landmark because it was the end of a year end to my cancer treatment. And it's been a very tough year, for sure. I never anticipated just how challenging it was and as a dear friend said, sometimes it doesn't rain, it pours, because of course it wasn't just the cancer treatment that I was healing from. I was also being attacked and having to advocate for my daughters. So it was a lot. It was a lot. But I really feel July being my birthday month, that this is a new beginning, a new chapter. And I have exciting projects coming along in September. 
um, and new projects, which feels right and feels good. And I'm ready to step back in with both feet. This last year I've stepped in with one foot because of my depletion and my trauma from the journey that I was on. And now this has been a really nice end point to the end of the month. And I feel that this new birthday month is the beginning of an exciting new chapter. So I will be sharing soon more about all those new chapters and how you can find me and how you can work with me and how you can join me in my yoga classes. All right, sending you all so much love. Bye for now.